Hi, in this video I'm going to show an overview of how to download the XMI app uh, and put it onto your smartphone, whether it's Android or Apple, so you can access the Nightwatcher DVR or NVR range. So it's very, very straightforward. I can do the entire thing in a single video. Remember, this technology here is, depends on your um, your Nightwatcher DVR being online. So you have to have it connected to the internet, obviously, but that would be taken more or less as a default. So what I'm gonna do is, I've just opened the App Store on my iPhone here, and I've typed in the name of the app, which is XM, and I can spot the next thing, XMI here. So I'll just come along and I'll tap on that app. Now, normally what I would do at this point in time is I'd actually download it, but um, which takes about 60 seconds. But the speed of the video, I've already downloaded it already, and I'm brought directly in. Now, if I was using the app for the first time, what would happen is, it would say, would you like to set up an account? And you'd say yes. You enter your email address, and it sends a four-digit verification code to your email address. So then you enter this back into the, the, into the app, and it prompts you then to create a username and a password. So the username and password, each of them have to be at least uh, eight digits long and a mixture of numbers and letters. So for example, you could say video room one because we're shooting this in our video room, for instance, and then you could come up with a password, which would be known only to you, and then you enter in directly, and at that point you're logged in, okay? So now you have the app installed, and it's ready for you to add a device on. But now, how are you going to add the device on? Well, you come along, and you'll tap the plus button here, and it's saying, okay, let's come along and put in um, the thing. Now, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using, uh, very cleverly, a QR code to enter it in. And the big advantage of this is that it's very quick, easy, and it's built into the app to how to use it. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is the QR code I want to scan is actually within the DVR itself. So I need to uh, pull out now, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring up the screen of the actual Nightwatcher device on the on our TV screen here. So we just come along and I click on guide. And the first thing there is just, I skip this menu here and I go to the next one and it says, have we got the right time and date? And we have, because we picked it up directly off the internet. And we go on there and it says, are you online? And you are online uh, because we can see the test by DNS, all the rest of it. Now, if the, if the DVR wasn't online, you'd have to stop at this point, make sure that it's connected collectively to the router or your switch and make sure, because obviously we can never view it remotely if it's not on the, if the device isn't online. Uh, so we just go next here again. And now we see two QR codes on the screen. So the one we're interested in is the serial number. Now the serial number here is absolutely unique to your, um, to your um, Nightwatcher device here. So there's no other serial number like this except for yours. And when you scan that in, it says, I know exactly which device you're talking about. And remember, this is using peer-to-peer, -peer, so P2P. So what's happening here is we're not um, setting up um, port forwarding and all this type of stuff and static IP addresses. It's just mapped off a server. It says, I know where this device is and you can access it from your phone that way. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna go back down to my phone and I'm gonna tap on the QR code scanning thing here. So it just might take one or two attempts to get bring this up. And we're into scan mode here. So what we want to do is we want to scan in this thing here. So I have to hold it back probably about a foot or so from the screen. Um, at this point here, I'm just gonna name the device. So it's picked it up successfully. So I'll just come along and say video room one. Okay, and I'll press okay, adding device. And now I come along, I can see it here, and I'll click getting channels, and I'll just click into my first camera here, and that's what our camera is pointed at. And if you go for a four camera view, uh, we can see that there. So we could bring up multiple cameras, four or eight, depending on what type of night watcher device we're having it. So you can see it's an incredibly fast, efficient process. It's idiot proof. If you had to see what used to happen years ago in terms of static IP addresses, opening up ports, port forwarding, all the rest of it, all of this is a thing of the past. So, um, so I'm really, really, really impressed with this. So this is uh, just an overview again of how to install the XY, uh, XMI app on your Nightwatcher uh, DVR, NVR for remote viewing.